Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiona and I mainly do gaming and diamond painting content with a little bit more focus on diamond painting at this point. You hear me? I almost said gaming. So today I have a special video for lack of a better term. I got asked how do I section my diamond paintings and so I went ahead and waited to start Magic Potion. I finished um, Kawaii Rainbow two days ago, and I was like, I really want to start Magic Potion. I really want to start Magic Potion. At the same time, I was like, I want to clean the studio. So, yeah. So, we're going to sit here and open up, or not open up Magic Potion. You've already seen it. We're going to go ahead and set up, section off Magic Potion. The difference between Magic Potion and all the other diamond paintings I do, I decided only to section off two columns at a time. Because if you look at this list, I'm going to come up close with it so you can see. So that's the dimensions. And I like to do the math. And yes, I measure my sections because I'm that person. But if you notice, it is 14 sections wide. I'm not going to unroll the whole thing to section out 14 columns. So what I'm going to be doing is two columns at a time and I figured that is actually perfect oh no I rolled it the wrong way did I the first thing you're gonna see me do is fix the way I have this rolled because I want to start from the opposite side which is gonna keep rolling at me that's fine actually we should be doing it this way Yeah, I could have paused for that. So I am actually going to use this container to hold it still for me for a second. Ooh, as all the other containers fall. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. No, I'm bending the canvas. Not that it matters. It, it, it's self flattening. Let me get over this. Hey! It's like, no! Okay, right, we're good. Everybody saw that disaster. Okay, now let's roll it the way I want to roll it. I can't believe I rolled it the wrong way. You would think I would have looked first. This is a huge painting. It shouldn't be hard to roll it back up. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I gotta be careful. My coffee's on the table. You can see it in the in the frame. I use styrofoam cups right now because it takes me so long to drink my coffee that I can't use a regular coffee cup or it'll be ice cold. And at the same time, my adult sippy cups, I can't find them since the move. So, yeah. There we go. So much better. So I've been using styrofoam cups so I don't spill as easy and it stays warm a little bit longer. That was a time for a drink. Okay. So... Why do I have all of these on the table? Well, I really don't need these three on the table. Because these are my drills. These are my special drills. Are not my special drills. My regular drills. I will not be blinging this up. I will be using what is charted. Which I think it has four ABs, so that's fine. It's just so much to focus on, and I don't think I have the special drills for it. I don't know. I will decide as I go. Like, if that's the first time I've used a color, but no, let's make it pretty. You know what I mean? Okay. So let me turn this around. Now that we got it rolled up the right way, I'm going to set my washi tape on top. Not knock that over. Okay. Now let's get into sectioning. How am I going to measure my sections and everything else? Let's see if I can stick this up under. I could wait for it to go flat, but I want to record this now. And I don't want to put it off anymore, so I'm going to use my little... Oh, y'all don't even see it. I have a foam pool noodle right here on the edge of my table that I just set up for specifically for this painting. Because I knew it was going to be long to avoid creasing the painting. So I just tuck that up under there real quick. I got my roller because I will be using a roller. A Sharpie marker to mark my measurements. It's a little bit sticky. That's weird. A, a Sharpie marker 
to mark my measurements because I'm going to do my measurements and then we're going to uh, do it. So do it. Yeah. Um, what downwards I will be going 10 centimeters at a time cross section this way. So what you're seeing is from left to right, I'll be doing 10 centimeters at a time from bottom to top. I will be doing 12 centimeters at a time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with marking my sections. So I need 10 centimeters. That's what I like about this ruler specifically is it'll give me centimeters and I don't have to use one of those um, flexible measuring tapes. I do have them. I just mark it roughly so it's not like perfect every time. I'll just put a little mark. Go up to that mark. Put another little mark. Go down to that mark. And put another little mark. Go down to that mark. And it's just a plastic. So it's not like I'm ruining anything. And if you notice these sections, some people might consider them big. Some people might com consider them small. They are whatever you want them to be. I just figured the size would be reasonable. Okay. So now we got six sections going left to right for your view or up and down for the actual view. Now what I'm going to do, since this one's a little bit harder because of the fact that of my current, like, we're going technically the opposite way with the ruler, I could have flipped it around, but what I'm going to do is go from 12 to 0 this time. Look at me. Y'all don't need to know how to measure. Let's do a little marky. 12 to 0. I got a glare. I don't know if y'all do, but I do. 12 to 0. And... 12 to 0. Oh, I can't see that. I gotta stand up. Hold on. I, I have short arms. And I'm short. Okay. I wasn't on the 12. That's what I thought. 12 to 0. I'm just going to double check those. It's a little shy of 12 right there, but we're fine. No, it's right. I just had the roller place wrong. The difference is, since we can see the up and down here, and we are going from up and down, or in your case, left to right in this case, I'm going to go ahead on this side over here and mark the 12 centimeter gap. So it makes it easier with the washi tape. Like I said, some people don't measure. You don't have to measure, you know, to each his own. I just have my math played out. That's what that part of that note is right there. I have my nat my that feels wrong. I have my map math. I knew that felt was wrong. Why would I put ten centimeters there? Luckily, it's just a little scratch like that. I'm glad I kind of messed up. Because when I mess up, you can just sit there, like I said, take your nail, you rub it, because it takes a little bit longer to dry on the plastic. Okay, 12. And then we want to go up a... No, that's all we did, right? No, we did one more. All right, we're going to flip this around. Flip it around. Do this last one. Originally, I was only going to do two, but I might as well do three. Oops. Sometimes these don't line up perfectly because, you know, things move and like a lot of people, they use the um, flexible measuring tape. I just happen to have a ruler. I love these rulers. The ones with the cork on the back. Okay. Next, we will choose our sectioning washing tape. I do have a small collection of washi tape here, but I think I want to, oh, that's why I had that out. I wanted to see what I used. Alright, I used this washi tape to label them right here, and I'm not seeing a second like that, but I am seeing a silver version of this one, so I might do that. I know, I have all these options right here in a bigger size, but I kind of want to do a thin size, so I'm thinking. Well, actually... 
we have all these purples and pinks and golds and everything else. And we already have like a silver for the labeling. I think I'm going to do pink and purple. Nah, 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 nah. Pink and gold, maybe? I'm thinking. Let me think. Pink and green. Alright, pink and green, maybe. Make up your mind. I don't wanna. Um, what about the pink and the blue? Yeah, I like those. That's what we're gonna be using the pink and the blue. Now, how do you section by only a little bit at a time? That, I don't know. This will be my first attempt for y'all. So, I'm going to start with doing the pink. We're going to be going downwards with pink. Let me find my ends here. Let me find my ends. Oh, give me a second. Alright, I found the ends on both of them. And I sang myself a little song while I was doing it. <laughs> Alright, so since I go left to right, this is what this is actually important. Since I go left to right, you are going to put your line on the left side of your washi tape. Like, there's my line. It's going on the left side of my washi tape. Now what I try to do is even if the line is on the edge of the block, I like to put the I make sure the washi tape is on the middle of the block. So I'm not sitting there confused on if this one is in that section or not. Let me just go along. It's a lot easier. If you see how I have it in my hand, I have it loosely between my finger. So as I pull, it rolls. Okay, you can tear it, but you've already seen how anal I am about things. A little cut, a little cut. Sometimes they do come up. I use scotch tape for that problem. Keep going, we got two more lines to do. And yes, you're gonna have to stand up if you're short like me. Or you can bring it closer to you, that's always an option. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That would have been helpful. I need some more light. This one's right on the line. That's what I was talking about. So I'm going to go over to the next one. Because there's the line. I'm going to go up a little bit. So it's the in between the block before. Right? And I just go along that to keep it straight. You watch where you place that washi tape. You don't look at the viewfinder like I just did. And adjust as needed. Like it keep, keeps trying to go right on that line for me. That's why you keep seeing me lift. But it's a little lift. And then boom. See, there's my other black mark right on the line. Oops, I just got rid of the black mark. Told you, just scratch that black mark away. Look, if it's not covered, a little scratch, scratch, it's gone. Okay, last line. Again, I have 14 columns total, so I'm not going to do the washi tape for the entire painting to start out with. So, and so I will be putting this paper right here with my measurements and my in one of my containers since I have three containers that go with this painting okay so this line's right or this mark is right between two lines so we can put it right on the mark okay now the cross lines so what we're doing right now would be the same no matter if you're only doing a small section on the painting section right now or if you're doing the entire thing you just go Top to bottom, top, or side to side. Yeah, this is why this was a good painting to do this with. Alright, let me make sure, because I skipped. 
different line, but that could be my measurements. Okay, yeah. Just making sure I stayed in the full line and I didn't go over. It was my measurements that were off on the other side. It happens. See how I, it's wanting to come up? I'm gonna grab some tape real quick. Maybe. My tape was upside down. Give me a second here. I'm not even gonna pause the video. You can hear me struggling. You know how when your tape falls on the floor and you have hay on the floor, you get hay on the tape? That's what happened. Oh, somebody's at the door. My door's unlocked. I forgot to lock it back. Okay. Give me one second. Sorry, I didn't have the recording light on, but at the same time, I got to put this back the way it was. So now I will show you what I do for, we're going to do three sections at a time. You would do obviously the same thing for one section. And I want to uh, reiterate, or not, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I wanted to state that I don't just, you don't have to measure your sections. Like if you say, you want to section out this flower right here. So you just put the lines any which way. There is no rules to sectioning. There are no rules to sectioning. It's just, this is how I do it. In fact, if I hadn't gotten questions at all, I wouldn't be making this video. But I did get questions and they're still opening the door with the recording light on. Okay, so I have the problem here. This one has the line right on the line. I'm trying to get it measured. I'm not having issues myself. Because I'm at an angle, normally I would turn the painting, but I found out the painting is a little bit too big for this table that way. I don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's getting loud out there. I apologize for the sound you may hear. Again, they don't respect the recording light sometimes. And it's agitating. But yes. There's animals called kids that live in my house. Okay. So I'm going to just clip it right here. It doesn't matter where you clip it. You can ov go over the line. You can make it to the line. Because in the end, when you come back later while you're doing this, you're going to be like, oh, I need to continue on. And you know exactly where to continue on from. And yes, I do have bubbles in my plastic, but it's in my plastic, not in the uh, glue. I could have done this and fixed that, but I recommend doing that before you put any washi tape down. So I'm just, I am going to live that wild life. I am. Okay, now that I've gotten that top one done, let me turn this around. We'll work on these side ones. For me specifically, it is easier to do it in a certain direction. If you saw how many times I was suffering, suffering, St <laughs> not suffering, um, you know, stumbling, for lack of a better term, with that section. So, here we go. I'm going to go in and I'm going to... We got five more... No, four more tapes put down because it's six sections. Just go across here. And make sure you put it on right. Yeah. I have my headset on. I just realized it shows... Where the fucking camera? Okay. Come on. That is... Oh, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's below the line. I really don't want my hair on camera. Or my head. <laughs> Hold on. Let me take my microphone off, my headset off. It's not like I'm doing anything. I wasn't watching YouTube videos or anything. And then bring this closer. 
Oh, actually, I can hear better now. I'm sorry. Here. Get a better idea of what I'm doing here. I'm going right underneath that line. Right underneath that line. There you go. A little cut. And remember how I said it doesn't matter if you go all the way to the line or pass it because you're going to be putting new washi tape down as you continue on. Can't think about it. Okay. Now again, this mark right here, you can't see it. Okay. This mark right here is right on the line, so I'm going to go right under it to go halfway between the two to go right on the grill grid, no, okay. drill spot, halfway through it, so the line is above my washi tape. Okay. That's you here as I go across, across, like I cut that three and a half right there. And these sections could be big for you, the size that I did. At the same time, these could be small for you. Again, it is your own preference. You can have the sections any size you want. If I wanted to, I could have said, hey, we're going to do five by six centimeters, and then we still have the same math. I would just end up with 28 sections and 12 rows. It would be twice as many lines as you're seeing right now. Now, I recommend, use if you it's a painting like this so large, using two different washi tapes. Especially if you have, like, OCD problems like I do. I'm diagnosed with OCD, but what I'm talking about with OCD problems is not actual OCD. It is where it has to be perfect. Again, that's why I measure. Then, that's why I used two different washi tapes, and I made sure they matched. And it doesn't matter what size. You can use thick ones, you can use thin ones. Because what is going to matter is the line. The line that you have. I will show you that here in a minute. Oh, let me zoom out. Not in. We got one more, I think. Yep, one more. The painting's coming to attack you. I have some stuff on the desk. So there we go. There we go. Now, see, I'm going to go ahead and start this painting when I'm done, so I will show you how to cut out the section. We'll just put that in a chapter. Okay. There, my partial sectioning is done. For this painting and as you can see here in a second I will show you again <laughs> oh, yeah. as you can see right down here I do have some tape on the painting to hold some washi tape down there's no shame in that I'm using tape to hold the ends down because the ends that are gonna roll up is those ends so I have some tape on the to hold the washi tape down but also now, there is no problem. Like, I could have done the whole thing. I could have. But I'm not going to. No problem rolling that painting back up with that washi tape. The reason why I'm showing you that is because we're going to focus in on this section right here. I will show you how I cut my washi tape. One second. So, you already used these materials. So, these are your initial materials. Washi tape and scissors. Maybe scotch tape. And you can use anything. You can use painter's tape. I, I don't know if, if masking tape will stick. Because I've had problems with it not sticking. Now I'm just going to grab. Sorry, I have a, all my supplies sit on my desk. Right behind my drafting table. Na, 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 na. And there's something I need out of here. Now you know the sound I was making when I was um looking for... Something. Oh, when I was doing the ends on the tape. Na, 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 na. 
Right, it's not in there. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. The cat's going crazy. You know why? Not in this container. Y'all know these containers by now, if you watch any of the videos. What I needed, specifically, is a craft knife. We're going to use a pink one for this one. So, <laughs> I didn't even close it. I don't care. You can use a X-Acto knife or a craft knife. You can use um, pretty much any knife, but what I recommend the most is the small knife like this. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. You look at this right here. You can find these on Amazon. In fact, I got this one on Amazon. You see that? How tiny that blade is? The reason why you want a tiny blade is you do not want to cut through the canvas. So this, you can put a little more pl pressure than a regular knife. But if you are not using one of these ceramic pins, I recommend using an X-Acto knife. So this, turn your head sideways. That's the best I can say is turn your head sideways for this. Because of fact, this is the top left, okay? Remember how I said we were putting the the washi tape to the right of the line and his this one was to the bottom of the line. So this will be your largest section is this top left because you don't have the washi tape in your way. And again, you can use any size washi tape. You're literally just wanting that line. So this one what you're going to do, uh, yeah, we'll do it this way. I'm thinking how am I going to be doing this? Okay. So what you'll be doing in this case, you'll be cutting this one line right here. Just light pressure, not enough to cut the canvas, enough to cut the plastic. All right. You go all the way up and you can complain because you didn't put enough pressure. Sometimes you got to go twice. I didn't hold the knife right. I go right up against that washi tape. That washi tape will hold you in line. Sometimes you go over it like I just did. See how I have a slice in the washi tape? The problem is when I get to the canvas area, I go a little weak. You'll just be able to pull that back right there. Pull it back. And there's your new section. See, there's your sticky. Then while you're diming painting, you will take a cover minder. I just happen to have one right here. Take it, and you will put the magnet on the back, put the cover reminder in the front, and if the magnet is facing the right way, there we go, it will hold the cover bag for you. And what you're going, the whole point of the washi tape has to be on the certain line, and while you're cutting on this side of the washi tape, is that washi tape will show you where you can go to in the diamond painting. I can go all the way down to this line right here or all the way to right to this line right here. All right. And that's how you will continue. You will start your diamond painting. The reason why you only cut one side until you're done is so say you have to take a break. You got to get up. You got to go feed them kids. You just put that washi tape right. I don't want you put that plastic cover right back over. And you make sure that your little slit of washi tape that was in the middle of the thing is not on the canvas. Sorry. And that is put off the side. If you already have diamonds on, I recommend moving your cover reminder up to be on top of it to hold it in place. Because if you have diamonds on it, it obviously won't want to stick in place. So, and that is how I section my diamond paintings. I'm just going to move this because guess what? I'm going to be doing it here in a minute. If you have any questions or concerns, don't, for, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. I will try to answer any questions you may have. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you're interested in more diamond painting and gaming content or anything that I do, the subscribe button is always there. Don't forget to ring the bell to know when I put up my next video. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful time zone.